Hello, electricians and electrical enthusiasts alike. Welcome back to another electrifying episode of Electricity Frenzy. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's likely touched each of our lives at one point or another, the perplexing problem of low voltage in residential settings. You know the drill, lights dimming unexpectedly, appliances not operating at their peak, and a slew of other electrical nuisances that can turn your home from a haven into a headache. Fear not. We're here to arm you with the knowledge to diagnose and tackle these issues head on. Understanding low voltage, a deeper dive. At its core, low voltage in the context of home electricity refers to the situation where the electrical supply dips below the standard threshold, which in most North American homes is pegged at around 120 volts. Imagine the electricity flowing to your home like water through pipes, just as water pressure can be too low to enjoy a satisfying shower, electrical pressure, or voltage, can be too low to effectively power your devices. This isn't just an inconvenience, prolonged exposure to low voltage can shorten the lifespan of electrical appliances, lead to dim or flickering lights, and even pose safety risks. Identifying the signs of low voltage. Here are some more detailed symptoms to keep an eye on. Dimming or flickering lights. This classic sign is most noticeable when you've got multiple lights on at the same time, creating an ambience more suited to a horror movie than a cozy evening. Appliance performance issues, from the refrigerator working overtime yet not cooling enough, to the hair straightener that takes forever to heat up, appliances underperforming can often be traced back to low voltage. Unexplained burning smell, a particularly alarming sign. This could indicate an overloaded circuit, a burning motor, or even the beginning of an electrical fire. Immediate turning off the power and investigation is crucial. It's important to be aware of how low voltage can impact our home appliances. Let's take a look at some of the appliances that might be affected and what to look out for. Refrigerators. Our refrigerators rely on electric motors to power their compressors, which are crucial for keeping our food fresh. If the voltage is too low, the motor might not have enough power to run effectively. What to look out for. Your refrigerator may run longer than usual in an attempt to reach the desired temperature, but it might not cool adequately. This can lead to increased energy consumption, as the refrigerator tries to compensate for the low voltage by working overtime. It's also worth noting that the continuous strain on the refrigerator's motor and compressor can shorten the appliance's lifespan. Hair straighteners. If you use a hair straightener or similar heating appliances, they rely on electrical resistance to generate heat. When the voltage is low, the amount of heat they can produce is reduced. What to look out for? Your hair straightener might take much longer to reach the desired temperature, if it can at all. This can make styling your hair frustratingly slow and less effective. Fans. Fans, including ceiling fans and portable fans, operate using electric motors that spin the blades to move air. If the voltage is low, the motor might not receive enough power to operate at its design speed. What to look out for? The most noticeable symptom is reduced airflow. In hot weather, this means the fan is less effective at cooling rooms, leading to discomfort. You might also notice the fan taking longer to start up or operating at a noticeably lower speed. It's important to note that continuously operating a fan under low voltage can strain the motor, potentially leading to overheating and a shortened lifespan. Water heaters. Electric water heaters can also be affected by low voltage. They heat water for domestic use through electrical resistance heating elements. What to look out for? With low voltage, the heating elements won't be able to heat water as quickly as usual, leading to longer waits for hot water. In some cases, the water might not reach the desired temperature at all affecting tasks like showering, washing dishes, and laundry. I hope this helps you to understand how low voltage can affect your home appliances. Let me know if you have any further questions. Tracking down the source. Tools and techniques. Using a multimeter, this invaluable tool can help you measure the voltage of your outlets. A reading significantly lower than 120 volts can confirm your suspicions of low voltage. Inspecting the circuit breaker, a trip breaker might be a symptom or a cause of low voltage. Resetting it is a good step, but if the problem persists, professional advice may be necessary. Appliance isolation method. By testing different appliances in the same outlet, or the same appliance in different outlets, you can determine whether the issue is with the appliance itself or a specific part of your home's electrical system. The usual suspects behind low voltage. Common causes. Overloaded circuits. Just like a crowded freeway slows down traffic, too many devices on a single circuit can lead to voltage drops. Spreading out high-demand devices or considering circuit upgrades might be necessary. Loose or corroded connections. Electrical connections that aren't secure can impede the flow of electricity, leading to lower voltage reaching your devices. Tightening these connections can sometimes solve the problem, 
but safety and certainty should be your guides, if in doubt, consult a professional. Aging infrastructure, old, deteriorated wiring is not just an efficiency problem, it's a safety hazard. If you suspect your home's wiring is past its prime, a comprehensive evaluation by a licensed electrician is the best course of action. Network voltage drop. Network voltage drop refers to the reduction in electrical voltage as it travels through the power lines and distribution networks from the power plant to the end user. Do you know what network voltage drop is? It's when the electrical voltage decreases as it's traveling through the power lines from the power plant to your home. This can happen because of a lot of reasons like distance, wire characteristics, high demand, or transformer issues. If you ever notice consistent low voltage, just report it to your electricity provider and let them know. They may need to inspect and possibly upgrade the network infrastructure, such as transformers or power lines, to resolve the issue. While waiting for a permanent fix, you can use voltage stabilizers or UPS units to protect sensitive electronics from low voltage damage. In summary, network voltage drop is a complex issue influenced by the electrical distribution system's capacity and condition. Although individual consumers have limited control over these factors, awareness and communication with your electricity provider are essential steps toward resolution. Prioritizing safety. It's worth repeating, electricity is not a DIY playground for the inexperienced. The risks of electrical work are significant, including the potential for fire, electrocution, and property damage. Always prioritize safety by wearing appropriate protective gear and, when in doubt, calling in a licensed professional. Additional tips for a volt vibrant home. Invest in voltage stabilizers. These devices can help protect your appliances from voltage fluctuations, providing a more stable electrical environment. Regular maintenance. Keeping an eye out for signs of wear and tear, loose connections, or other potential issues can prevent problems before they start. Consider upgrades. If your electrical panel or system can't keep up with your modern demands, it might be time to consider an upgrade. This is especially true in older homes that weren't designed for today's high-powered devices. Armed with this knowledge, you're now better equipped to address low-voltage issues in your home. Remember, recognizing the signs and understanding the potential causes are the first steps toward resolution. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep that voltage up. Check out the video description below for links to these amazing products. Using these affiliate links not only gets you great products but also supports our channel. Thanks! That wraps up today's deep dive into low voltage issues. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share your own experiences in the comments below. Have you ever dealt with low voltage in your home? How did you resolve it? Let's keep the conversation charged and continue learning together. Until next time, stay electric.